What if I told you your identity isn't self-chosen? It's calculated based on the group you're closest with. That's the idea behind K-Means, and this is day 14 of 30 Days of ML, where we break down ML and data science concepts into bite-sized lessons. K-Means is a way of grouping data by finding the center of each group called centroids. Instead of asking you questions or using labels, it looks at the data and says, you're the closest to this center, so you belong to this group. Think of it like this. In a grocery store, some people might orbit around the snack center, others around the produce, and maybe a small group around the meat section. Or for Spotify's case, they group people based on the vibe they're closest with. One centroid might be rap, another one might be indie, and the last one might be EDM. And here's an important distinction. This isn't the same as the Canon model we talked about previously. Canon is like asking your five closest friends what they're into. If most of them say they're into Marvel movies, then that becomes your label too. K-Means doesn't ask your friends at all. It just finds the center point for each group and uses the center of gravity to pull you into whichever group you're closest to. So that's basically K-Means, how apps sort you into groups based on centroids. That's day 14 of 30 days of ML. Save this so you don't miss the next one.